hi guys so welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be answering another um interview question cabin crew interview questions and um i'm just going to go straight to the point so that the video is not so long <laughs> um i'm reading for my um my book describe a situation where it was important to develop a relationship with a customer what did you do now this question is more about your customer service experience and if you don't have a customer service experience you can also use an example of when you were a customer what you can do is think about um, a period in your career as a customer service um, person when you had to solve a customer service problem what did you do generally speaking cabin crew job is more about customer service and there are going to be times when you would have to develop a relationship with your customer you know the most important thing about delivering an excellent customer service is making sure that your customers are satisfied they are happy so that they can keep coming back to use the airline every time they want to travel they think about the great customer service that the cabin crews have and to make them want to come back to the airline so you need to think about that when you want to answer the question and please go straight to the point you don't need to beat about the bush all you need to do is say the story of how it happened and um, concentrate on how you were able to solve the customers problem remember as a cabin crew you have to be able to um, solve problems you have to be a problem solver you are the ambassador of the airline you're the face of the airline and every issue that a passenger has as long as they're on board that aircraft you are required to solve it you cannot tell a customer you cannot tell a passenger a passenger cannot ask you a question and you say um, I don't know or that's not my job no 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 there are ways even when you're unable even when you're unable to even um, fulfill the passengers um, request there's a way you say it there are certain words that you should never use as a customer service officer or as a cabin crew you should never tell a passenger I don't know you should never tell a passenger it's not my fault it's not my department it's not my job you don't say that so if I'm going to answer this question this is how I'm going to answer it to answer the question, I will talk about a situation whereby the flight was delayed for more than four hours. On this flight to Abuja, the flight was four hours delayed and by the time the passengers were boarding, they were very unhappy. So we made sure, one of the passengers actually called me and, you know, wasn't happy and demanded for an explanation, was, you know, explained to me the reason, I mean, the plans the person had and how the airline had already spoiled the plans. What I did as a cabin crew was I took my time to listen. I did not interrupt the passenger while the passenger was talking. I allowed the passenger to vent. And after the person finished talking, I took responsibility. And first and foremost, I apologized for the fact that we were delayed. And once immediately he apologized, I took, I was able to, you know, calm him down. And I explained the reason why the flight was late. Regardless, we owned, we took up the responsibility and we made sure that that flight was a very memorable and satisfying flight for the passenger. We made them feel welcome. We accepted that we were wrong. And we, when all of them were bought, uh, were coming down from the aircraft, they were, you know, praising our professionalism and how we accepted responsibility for what it is that we did. So you can see that in this, um, in the situation of what happened on board, we first of all owned, took responsibility, and we allowed them to vent their frustration because they had every right to be frustrated. And even while they were arguing, we did not interrupt them, we allowed them to vent, which is part of customer service. And immediately they uh, vented, we made sure we made a public apology. We apologized and we promised that we're going to, you know, um, do better next time. You know, when you're with, when you're handling passengers you need to be very careful you need to make sure that your passenger f make them feel important make them know that you are they are the reason why you're there they are the reason why the company is even running make them feel important everyone wants to feel important 
So I was, you know, um, the question, the answers to this question, I've been able to use the situation that happened to let you know how it is to develop a relationship with a person. You can definitely develop a relationship with your passengers. First and foremost, the easiest way to develop a relationship with your passengers is when there's a problem. When there's a problem, the first thing you should do is give them a listening ear. Once you give them a listening ear, take up responsibility, apologize to them and make them feel that, oh, we are sorry for what it is. How can I help you? How can I be of help? How can I ease the situation? And even if it's not your job, it's not your department, the best thing for you to do is tell the passenger that, you know what, I'm going to find out how you can do this i can give you options you can also give them options but please don't ever tell a passenger it's not my fault it's not my department well yes it's the airline that delayed you i'm not the one who delayed you that's not customer service that's a very poor service so when you think about that it will give you an idea of the kind of answers that you will give to this question okay so I'm going to answer a second question. Tell me about a time when you had to get help from someone who you do not normally interact with. What did you do? Now, you know, as a cabin crew, you're going to work as a team on board. And let me not lie to you. There are some times you're going to fly with someone whom you don't like. You're going to fly with someone whom you don't share the same values and same beliefs with. But, you know, more than anything, it's a professional environment and you need to get the job done. And your job as a cabin crew is to make sure that the customers are satisfied. And we all need to work together to make this um, happen. So even when you fly with someone whom you don't like, you still have to work with the person. Communication is key here. If you have experience, if you have working experience, you will understand what it is that I'm talking about. And even if you don't have working experience, even while you were in school, there are some of your mates that you obviously don't like, but you had no choice but to work with. So if you're going to answer this question, you go this way. Yes, there's one of my colleagues that we didn't agree on certain things, but at the same time, it's a professional environment. The fact that me and her, we don't share the same values and beliefs on certain issues doesn't mean we cannot work together. The goal while we're on board is to make sure that the passengers are satisfied and happy. And so even if I, um, even if I needed her help, it's not... It's not a reason why I would not want to talk to her. I would definitely, if I need to get help from someone I don't get along with, there is no way, as long as we are bored, or we're on board and we're there to work, it's called a working relationship. I would definitely call you aside and talk to you. And I can, there's, there's a, a way we can reach a compromise. I don't believe in keeping malice with your colleague. Your colleagues are a great you know they, they can they can be of help to you tomorrow there's nobody i cannot work with so even if we don't share the same beliefs we don't share the same values does not mean we cannot get the job done it's a professional environment and so if i need to get help from her i'll call her and I'll talk to her and if she does not even respond to me the way i expect her to respond to me it does not mean i will share the same sentiments as she does i will still try as much as possible to make our working together peaceful because one thing I know is that as long as we are in the working environment, we are the face and ambassador of the airline. And it's very important that we get the job done. So, that's an idea of how you can um, answer. But, you know, when you have a working environment, I mean, you cannot go on board and start quarreling and fighting in front of passengers it's wrong and it's not done and it's very unprofessional there are certain things you should never 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 do while you're working and you should be able to work with all kinds of people for me I, there's no one i can't work with i don't have to get along with everyone but the most important thing is that we are there to work there's a job that needs to be done and it will definitely get done okay the next question which is the last for today Tell us about your favorite job. This is so easy. Whatever job we're talking about, make sure it's tied to customer service. Like the cabin crew job is 100% customer service. I love 
anything that is tied to people. I love working with people. I love when I have to be of service to people. I love the sense of responsibility it gives to me. I love the sense of re I love the fact that my job is tied to keeping a smile on someone's face, making sure the person is satisfied, being accountable and reliable. And the fact, the, the, the sweet thing about the job is you work hand in hand with your fellow colleagues. All you need to do is look at the requirements of a cabin crew job and you tie it to my favorite job. So that's all for today. I'm sure you gained something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I'm still going to do another part. Part three is coming. Bye guys.